Let's start today's workout with one of my favorite warm-ups, the squat to stand. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, reach towards your toes, bending at your hips, then bend your knees, bringing your hips towards the ground into a squat. Let's move into the adductor rock. Start on all fours, then reach one leg out, putting your foot flat on the ground. Slowly rock your hips back towards your heel, then back towards the starting position. Let's switch sides, reach out that other leg, and let's get the other side. Let's move to our feet for jumping jacks. This is a great staple exercise to get our bodies moving and our heart rate up. Let's do one more round of squat to stand. Really feel that opening up your hips. You can feel that gentle stretch in your hamstrings as you keep going. Focus on feeling that gentle stretch on that inner thigh. We're going to be doing lots of great leg work today, so let's make sure we're warmed up. Time to switch sides. Let's move that other leg out to the side as we rock. Let's stand to our feet for our second round of jumping jacks, and then we are ready to get into this workout. Thank you. 
Focus on keeping your chest tall. I wanna see the logo on your shirt as you squat backwards. This is a hip hinge movement, so focus on sending your hips back first and keep the dumbbells close to your body. chest tall and bend at your knees and have your hips back and hold that squat. Let's get our hearts pumping with some high knees. This is supposed to be a high intensity exercise. If jumping doesn't feel that great for you, go into the modification. Keep your elbows high and push those knees out as you perform your squats.
Keep your back and neck neutral throughout your RDLs. Go to about parallel. Time for some squat holds. This is gonna be challenging, so really focus on your breath. Time to pick up the pace. Let's move into those high knees. Try and get those knees to parallel. This is the last round of this circuit, so really focus on giving it your all. Really focus on using your glutes and hamstrings to pull the weight back up to the top. Keep going hard, I know this is tough.
Come on, round three of your squat holds. I know this is tough, but you can do it. Keep going. Here we go, last exercise in this circuit. Let's really give it our all. Time to work on our lateral movements with some lateral lunges. If this feels a little bit too challenging, feel free to do it body weight only. As you get into position on the ground, make sure you have a firm grip on the dumbbell on your hips. Then push through your feet on the floor to get your hips to parallel. Put that dumbbell to the side. We're gonna kick up the intensity with some mountain climbers. You can go at a steady pace with this and really focus on that shoulder strength and that core stability, or you can pick up the pace and make it a little bit more of a sprint. Get that heart pumping.
Time to stand up for some ground to sky jumps. Focus on keeping your chest tall as you touch the ground, then reach for the sky, landing softly into the descent. Make sure you focus on each and every step, pushing through that heel as you get back to center. Dumbbell glute raises are so amazing for building strong and powerful glutes. So make sure you get the most out of each and every rep. Time for some mountain climbers. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your hands. Sometimes it's easy to let your shoulders kind of creep back, so make sure you're leaning forward and those shoulders are stacked. Up to our feet, it's time to jump to the sky. Focus on getting as high as you can, landing softly on the descent. But if jumping doesn't feel great for you, feel free to take the modification.
third and final round of these lunges. Come on, keep going strong. This is where you've got to dig deep. I know that it's hard, but keep going. Round three of mountain climbers. I know this is tough, so I want you to think right now, what are you overcoming while doing this? Last exercise of this circuit. I want you to leave this all on the floor. Hello body hold is an excellent exercise for core strength. Make sure you keep your shoulders off the ground and if this feels a little bit too challenging, take the modification.
alternate reaching forward as far as you can, getting that extension going. You're gonna notice you feel it a little bit more in your obliques. For this exercise, keep your spine flush against the ground and that's gonna help you keep your core more engaged. Bring that knee to your elbow for these Spider-Man planks. This is a fun variation that gets your core on fire and gets your heart rate up. Keep that spine flush on the ground as you keep that core engaged. Now focus on your breath. Keep breathing. Pick up the pace a little bit on these reach forward planks this round. I know that it's challenging, but you can do it. This exercise is really challenging for those lower abs, so keep focused and keep going strong. Here we go, we are rounding up round two. Let's keep going strong with these Spider-Man planks. This is your last round of this entire workout. This is where you gotta dig deep. Want right here a little bit stronger each and every reach keep going Keep a nice pace throughout this. I know that you're getting tired, but you can totally do this.
Last and final exercise of this workout. Come on, right here, right now, let's go.